In this video, I will show you how to enroll students to Moodle using cohorts and groups. This concept can be a little bit confusing within Moodle, uh, so I will try to make a concrete example to uh, better understand it. So the cohort is a method to enroll several users to a course at once. So if you have a school like CICD, you have 10 students, you can, meet, you can make a cohort for those 10 students and uh, later you can enroll this cohort to any course. So the 10 students will automatically be enrolled. When you then have three different schools making three different cohorts and enroll to the same course, well, then you need another method to be able to divide those three groups uh, when you look into the gradebook, for example, so they don't all appear on the same list. I'm going to do an example here. I am a teacher, and if I go into my gradebook, I can see that I'm uh, teaching a, a course that is called Another Kind of School. When I click on this, I will see a long list uh, as default, I will see a long list of users who have enrolled, but I can't really see which school they come from or which team they come from. These are all cohorts from different schools that has been enrolled. And by creating a group, I can further divide it down and say that I want to see only the CICD February course. And when I look down here, I'll see only the three students that is part of this group. So that's the difference between cohorts and groups. Here is another illustration. So I have a, a, a course that I'm signing up for. I have two different cohorts, one for CICD, one for Ritual Wave. When I enroll them in the gradebook, automatically they appear on a long list of students. By making the groups, I can make subdivision so I only see the students in the groups that I'm actually teaching. So this is the difference between courts and um, groups. I will now make uh, go through the process of how to enroll, um, how to create a new student, which is number one, how then to create a cohorts and we then enroll that student into this course. Then we enroll the course to a course. And during this process, we tell the system to auto create a group. That's what we're going to go through now. So I am um, in uh, Moodle. I go to the course that I, uh, well, first of all, we are going to create a user. So I go into the menu and I have three different uh, sections. You have your navigation that everybody has. You have administration for this course, but then you have the site administration. And down here is where you do all the creation of users and cohorts. So first of all, I will create a new user without taking stand to what he's getting signed up to. So browse list of users, add new user, I will call this a demo student and it has to be small letters in the username. Normally I do create a letter like C demo student that identify that is CICD or R would be Richmond Vale or L would be Linda Swall. So you easily can see this. You go down and you click a password. Uh, you give the name and you give an email. That's all you need to do to create um, a user. There are more options, but the students can use do this themselves as well uh, around their profile. So when done, I can save and create the user. Now the user has been created in the system. Uh, if I went back to browse users, I can uh, go into search, for example, on a username or an email address. 
and that will confirm that the user has been created within the system. All right, so that's the user uh, creation. Then the second part is to create a cohort, and then we need to enroll that student into this cohort. Again, as an administrator, I go all the way down to the user administration, and I have something called cohorts. When I click on this, I can add a new cohort, and I can give it a name. So I will just call this uh, CICD demo. And you select system, which means you can enroll in this cohort into any course within the system. Uh, you don't need to put the ID, but uh, I'm not sure what is used for. And you can give a description. So that's all I have to do to create this cohort. Uh, on the list, I should be able to find it now. There we are, demo. And at the moment, it says that I have zero users enrolled in this cohort. So then I can click on um, Assign. Then it will you find the user you want to add. So if I try to write, for example, CICD, I will get, yes, this is the user, and I want to add it over to this side. Now this user is added to this cord. We have not really taken a stand to if it's a student or a teacher or whatever it is, but uh, this group, uh, CICD demo, is for students only. So I move the students into this cord. So now I have made um, I have made um, a court and I have assigned one user into this court. So that was the second step in the process. Now when we have done this, we need to enroll this court into the course. And at the same time, we will auto create a group as well for CICD demo. So now when the user administration has been dealt with, I can go to the course where I want to enroll them. So as a, a administrator or a course administrator uh, with the right permissions, you can enter the course you want to enroll them in. When you have entered it, you again in the navigation panel, you will have got another section here that is admin, that is course administration. Okay, not site administration, but course administration for this course. And then here you can click on users. And instead of saying enroll users, you say enrollment method. Okay, so I click on this and uh, I get up another menu here that says different methods already used. Now I want to do a court sync, which means all the users in this course will be added to this course. Even if I add users later to this cohort, they will also be auto enrolled to this course. That's why it's called court sync. So I click it. The name, uh, it's not very important, but I will just call it the same as the cohort. Uh, for example, demo CICD. Active, yes. And then it asks, which court is it that you want to enroll? But I want to enroll CICD demo. I wrote it a little bit different up here, but it shouldn't make a difference. So I'm enrolling this court to this course. And it's going to be a student. So I leave it as student. And this is where it asks, do you want to add it to an existing group in the system, or you want to create a new? And in our way of setting it up, every time you add another team, another court to a course, we create a new group. And when you click create a new group, it will create a group with the same name as the court. So add method. Now CICD demo has been added and enrolled in this course. So in practice, uh, I could go in here and go to my gradebook as a teacher, go to the course as a teacher, and if everything works correct, 
it should appear here now and I will only see the students in this court has uh, uh, taken place or have participated in this course. So if in um, a week later another student comes up, uh, comes, start a school and want to join the administrator, all he has to do is to go to the site administration, go to the users, go to the accounts, go to the courts, after you of course add the user up here, then you go to the courts, you go into the correct court, and you can continue to add students to this course. And as soon as you move them over, like this, this person is now enrolled in this course. And if I go to the grades, go to the course, I can now see that there are two students enrolled. So this is how you enroll using the courts within the Moodle. Um, it is, uh, when you first have done it a couple of times, it's straightforward. As I said, it's only the administrator that can use this and uh, some users who have asked for it and have specific permissions where they actually can add the students to a course.